question is, why the build? You know, we built the brand, we built BPN off the foundation of an era during bodybuilding and strength training. And two, we wanna show the full potential and versatility of the hybrid athlete. I've had a lot of people ask me the question, is running harder now that you're heavier? Yes, but if you're going to commit to the process, you have to embrace the process. I'm running with 30 extra pounds. Just because the effort I'm putting out on these runs is larger, doesn't mean I don't do it. I still do it. This is a hybrid build. It is running and weight training, but you have to embrace the process. You have to go all in. My wife and my daughter, they deserve better. For me to choose to do a bodybuilding show was very selfish. I, I had a very real moment of self-awareness during this prep. Probably gonna be my last bodybuilding show that I ever do for that reason. So we are in Orlando, Florida at the Ironclad Gym. I'm training with Coach Brady right now. It is 3 p.m. Show day is tomorrow. We are less than 24 hours out. I've had about 560 grams of carbs with me so far today. The goal is to get 650 grams in total by the end of the day. And um, we're just getting a, a, a quick workout, getting blood moving into the muscles facilitating some of those carbohydrates being shuttled into the muscles. And uh, after this, we're gonna go check in for the show, get tanned up, rest up, tomorrow's show day. in your lower back especially that usually that's the guy's like last part part to lose yeah and uh we did sharpen up the last couple weeks like your christmas tree area but you were like pretty much already there my lower you know? back my like lower lats have always been pretty they're prominent pretty, yeah yeah. Prominent. yeah and you just don't store a lot of fat there which is kind of interesting actually yeah so that's been cool that felt good there usually guys have to like take forever to get rid of that so Like in the last video I talked about, you start getting emotional towards the end of a prep. You realize how much work you put in to get here. And like there were so many nights that I was like laying in bed, hungry, and like didn't sleep at all. And you finally get the peak week and you shed some of that fatigue and those emotions. Yeah, and then it's just, you're ready to go. Yeah, and it's like, but man, like, just the dig to get to this point, not easy. No, no. It's not easy. Realistically, like, how well do you think we could place based off of other shows you've been to? Yeah, so this is the most difficult question to answer. Because you don't know who's going to be there. Yeah, it's like you have to go into the sport knowing what you are in control of and what you're not in control of. The things you are in control of is getting shredded, which we can check off, yeah. uh, filling up properly, which we're doing right now, posing, and then just showing up with a winning physique. Do you have a winning physique? Yes. Absolutely. But we also have no idea who's going to show up and we don't know what the judges want. You know, it's like we can we can go in with the winning physique and hope for the best. But at the end of the day, it's so subjective. It's just up to the judges. But I mean, as far as having a winning physique, yeah, dude, like this is a physique that could win. So let's bring home the W. Let's do it. Workout's complete. We kept it pretty conservative. If Brady wasn't here, I would have <laughs> went for another, honestly, probably two hours, utilizing all these carbohydrates that I've been consuming and then wrecking myself for tomorrow. But we didn't do that. We kept it light, few sets per body part, and this gym now has a posing room, 
So we're gonna go through some of the poses for tomorrow, get dialed in, and see what we're looking at. And you've come a long way. But you came a long way very quickly, but just the surprise part. Okay, this one, we need to bring the traps back. A little more. That's right there, that's the sweet spot. Crazy. There's probably only twice a year that I shave my face clean. This is one of them, but my face looks identical to when it did when I was 18 years old right now. <laughs> I, I feel like I, I lost years off my face life to this cut, but we did it. Tomorrow morning is the morning. Super happy with the progress. Got to give a huge shout out to Brady for coaching me the last couple weeks. Yeah, I appreciate dude, you. Freaking crushed it. Appreciate you. Okay, so we just wrapped up the workout. Brady wants me to get about 20 to 30 grams of quick carbs in me right now. So we're gonna go over to this Green Hill supermarket, see what we can find. Just 20 to 30 grams, ideally not extra sodium or electrolytes. We're trying to really control sodium potassium right now. So we'll see what we can find. I think it's closed. It's open. What kind of carbs are we looking for? Something quick. So in this case, I think we agreed on like a Rice crispy treat. I think you could handle a little bit more carbs right now and we're post-workout where your muscles will just soak it up extra fast. So he's already had like a ton of carbs today, but I kind of want to just, you know, capitalize on the post-workout carb absorption rate. I think a really big question is where did we come up with these numbers with the carbs that we're giving him? I mean, he's having 650 to 700 grams of carbs today. And, you know, I had a feeling he'd be able to handle a pretty decent amount of carbs. So we went ahead and threw 600 at him just to kind of see what would happen. The photos came back, they looked great. And in fact, I thought he could handle a little bit more. So this week we've just been tapering everything down. He's lost like literally five pounds of just kind of like stress weight. And we've increased the, the calories and carbs a little bit throughout the week. And then today's the big load day, the main load day. And uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, essentially it takes 24 plus hours for your, your body to really absorb those carbs and assimilate the carbs. So we eat today, we go to bed tonight, we ideally want kind of a softer loaded look, which might sound counterintuitive, counterproductive, but we want a softer look tonight. That's how we know we have enough. And then through the night, his body will assimilate those carbs, um, pump up in the morning, and it's just all gonna kind of come together. So yeah, it's gonna be insane to see. It's just like a spoonful? Yeah, one serving is like, what, 17 grams of carbs, so maybe like a one and a half serving. I'm definitely going for like part of that actual comb. I could drink this whole thing right now, I'm not gonna lie. I was looking for a Rice Krispie treat, but... Yeah. Get that, go right into the room. So right hand to the right hand side. Backstage Great. passes and everything. Uh, there as well. I'll put the ticket, ticket right up the front. Right when you, when you turn that corner, when you take down this way. Officially checked in, competitor number 431, and now we're about to get tanned up. Do I look tanner? Brady told me to uh, to wait to do my face until tomorrow so we didn't spray my face today. We'll do that tomorrow. In the morning, I'll also get my second coat of tan. So this is just the first coat. Gotta let it develop. Okay, so final meal of the night. It is 6.51 p.m. This is, I prepped this earlier today. Three whole eggs, 100 grams of egg whites, 12 ounces of gold potatoes, and then I put a tablespoon of honey on top, and there's an eighth teaspoon of salt. Total macros for the day. This is including the, the honey that we had post-workout, immediately post-workout. 163 grams of protein, 669 grams of carbs, and 81 grams of fat. So I'm going to eat this. We're going to do some light posing tonight. We'll see what I'm looking like. Maybe make some adjustments. Maybe not. Um, but I'm going to eat this and see kind of what happens to the physique and body over the next couple hours. Yeah, 
I think the props would be a little weird. Maybe just like eerie. Um, after that, it's a whole lot of chilling. So you probably won't go on. It's hard to say, but you're, you're kind of middle of the pack as far as schedule goes. So who knows, maybe 11, maybe noon. Okay. And then um, more chilling until finals. But um, yeah, essentially, if we get the look perfect tonight, we wake up tomorrow, we're looking exactly how you, you want you looking. It's all about maintenance at that point. So, you know, little carbs here and there, keeping the stomach light and um, maintaining that look throughout the day. We'll have a pretty early morning. Um, when you when you do work, wake up, we're gonna see how you look. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a minor pump up. Hopefully the pump comes pretty easily and we'll actually see a little bit of a tightening effect during that period of time. When you wake up, you're still kind of groggy. Your, your yeah. body hasn't quite woken up yet. So we'll do a mini pump up. We'll see you tighten up a little bit. We'll take another look at you. Um, see if we need to do anything else at that point. And then after that first meal goes in, Nice light protein and carbs, and then we'll head to tanning. Get that second coat, <laughs> but we got to get a little bit fuller of a and softer of a look tonight before we go to sleep. Um, that being said, you've had a lot of carbs today, so it's happening. It's yeah. all in there, you know. It's just time is doing its thing now. And throughout the day tomorrow, it's rice cakes, peanut butter, rice cakes, peanut butter. Um, that one's if we need to add sodium, we'll add sodium. If we're so little flatter whatever we'll add a little bit more sodium but we've been really good managing the sodium today knowing exactly how much is going into you so yeah we'll be able to manipulate that pretty well if we need to yep. no pressure you don't have to wear this right now you don't you don't gotta wear it tomorrow or whatever okay. but i give this to all my athletes that coach for specifically for bodybuilding okay so an honorary tua jersey love that taking common action athlete on the back there you go that's all thank yours. you man yep <laughs> I'm rocking this tomorrow, dude. Jersey and all, that's sick. It's cool, right? It's cool. I do like that. Yeah. I figure out where you got this made. I'm gonna make some of these. So yeah, rice cakes. rice cakes, rice cakes are great. Between one and then, yeah, like if you have half a serving of honey or something, um, or even two of those with a serving of honey. What do you mean by sharp? So he's just, he's sharp, like he looks good, but we don't want to look good right now. We want to look good tomorrow. Uh, and if he's sharp right now, to me that's telling me that he could push it a little bit more. And um, right now, he'll look great tomorrow. Like, absolutely. But we do want to push that envelope a little bit, you know? We want to fill them up as much as possible. And um, a few reasons, really. I mean, at the end of the day, this is an NPC show. There could be some huge guys on that stage. And uh, we want to be able to bring as much size as possible with Nick. Obviously, he's going to be shredded. We're not worried about that. Um, but we want to just fill up as much as possible. So we're going to push it just a little bit more. Hit the abs right here just to kind of show them, like, yeah, see, like, we're really sharp still. This is the end of the day after 700 grams of carbs, and we're we're still this sharp. So he's filling up. He's starting to fill up, which is great, but we need more. <laughs> so this is what we do. <laughs> Give me more. It's been a very crazy experience to see this whole thing come together. So you put in the work, you diet, you train, you lose body fat, you see the scale go down. And then these last couple of weeks of like true refinement, you see like things happen to your body that you never thought could happen. But today's workout in the gym was nuts. 
just seeing veins come out that I didn't know I had, a level of leanness that I didn't think I could achieve. When you follow a plan and you have a coach that helps you stick to that plan, no matter how much you think you're losing your mind or you think you're losing all your muscle or you think you're gaining weight when you're not, you stick to that plan, you execute the plan, and then when you finally see the result, it's holy crap, like this is what full potential looks like. So it is almost 6 a.m. and it is show day. Officially the day that we've been working for since December is here. So I'm going to have a light meal here in a little bit of a plain bagel and egg whites. I'll get a little bit of a pump. Brady will look me over to see what we're looking like, but just after first glance, the carbs filled me out very, very well. Like my, my core, you can even see here, is super sharp. So, happy with the carb load yesterday. And this is kind of some of the food that we'll be consuming throughout the day to day. The goal will keep it light on my stomach, um, but keeping fuel in me. So I have 12 ounces of just cooked chicken breast that I made yesterday here, some packs of Jasmine Uncle Ben's rice, uh, three packets of rice cakes, some peanut butter, honey, endo pump for when uh, when we go out on stage as we're pumping up. Uh, a Gatorade, I haven't had like an actual Gatorade in probably years, it actually has sugar and calories in it. Uh, have some salt in this baggie here for if and when we need it to get a better pump and contraction. And then on Brady's list, he told me, pick up Reese's Cups and a Snickers. And I think before the night show, we'll either do a Snickers or a Reese's peanut butter cup. And then just have like a, a knife and spoon for eating this stuff so I'm not consuming it with my hands as I normally would. This is kind of just the foods that I'll be consuming throughout the day to day. Again, keeping it light but staying fueled. And bagel. So we just got to the hotel. We have to do our second uh, layer of tanning this morning. Second coat, it's 7, 10 a.m. Athlete meeting is at eight, and then things will start to roll out. What up? I fucking 
fucking go. We got it, baby. <laughs> if you need to get unleash on all the people that are saying you're on gear, I know. Send them away. Well, I mean, we were hoping that, that the blood work would, uh, no. would clear some stuff up. Like the guy's hair barely alive. Let him live. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Wait, all right. All right, man. Thanks. So I'm competing in two classes. The first class is men's physique novice. The second is men's physique E. Class E. Yes. Class E, which is above five foot eleven, but not over six foot. And I came in yesterday at five foot eleven and a quarter, so just under six feet. Uh, so those are two men's physique classes that I'm competing in, and we're kicking off in about. 34 minutes, bodybuilding starts. I'll probably be on stage in the next two hours. Yeah, I would hope so, yeah, two hours. Two hours, so I think we're gonna get some rice cakes and peanut butter in. I'm actually really, really hungry right now and looking forward to this. This looks like the uh, rice cakes and peanut butter uh, that I'll be eating <laughs> later or now. Yep. Let's go, baby. You see that? Call to the center, man. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Yeah, baby. Center, baby. Yeah, let's go. You look so good. The, you look good up there? the conditioning was. Fuck yeah. It was no comparison. Like, no comparison at all. It was so easy. That's what happens when you get lean. You gotta dig. The you, dig is worth it, baby. Yeah. You can't cheat treads, man. You can't cheat treads. It's like. It's not easy to get there, but it's so clear on stage. So clear. You like it? Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Fucked up. So <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> All right, dude. When they called the center, I was like, I'm holding this shit right here. <laughs> it happens so fast, too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm! 
I mean, all, I got me all fucking psyched, baby. Suddenly, suddenly he can't even remember that he was starving like four days ago, you know? <laughs> all that matters is this. Dude. And when you're backstage, there's like, there are some good athletes back here. Like seriously, props to all of them. They all look great. But the stage reveals all. And Nick is shredded to the bone. And you can't hide that, man. There's no hiding. If you're not leaning up for the stage, the stage reveals it. Nick came in shredded. His uh, peak went very well. He's so sharp right now. He pumped up great. The back shot was killer. Yeah, he's going to the overall, so we'll see you later. Two rice cakes? Two rice cakes, peanut butter, and honey. Yeah, I'm not really that worried about your sharpness right now. Stage is addictive, man. Rice cakes, peanut butter, honey. We gotta stay filled out for tonight. Because tonight, from what Brady says, tonight's what really matters. So we gotta stay full. I kind of have the same issue with that. So now it's 12, right, 10 p.m. We're probably not going on until like five. No, so we have about five more hours. Um, Brady just had me take my clothes off to check out my body. Let me know where I'm at. We're about to eat some food, about to eat some chicken and rice. Um, yeah, but based off the way I'm looking right now, I am pretty sharp. A lot of those carbohydrates that I consumed yesterday, all 710 grams of them, have pretty much digested and are now assimilating even more and filling out my muscle glycogen. Now, and this, this is something I know about myself, like later in the day, I'm always looking a little bit fuller. That's personally why during this series, the deeper we got into the cut, I've been training in the afternoons and not in the mornings because I feel better, I look fuller. But I mean, I'm more vascular, I feel more full, I feel more tight now than I did even this morning. It's even more separation. Like this bicep right here is just nuts. But I'm starving right now, so I'm gonna eat my chicken and rice. This is 12 ounces of chicken total in here. So I'll do about half, six ounces of chicken. So I'll do about a third of this package. About 30 grams of carbs. All right, taste test, let's see. Cold chicken, uncooked rice. Exactly what I thought, shit. You cooked it quick too, didn't you? Wow. Have you heard of the Tommy? Tommy hit it? Sausage and pancakes. Let's see the back. 
Yep. Sharp. Cool. And I think let's not let's not eat right now. Yeah. You're there. Okay. Let's hold off a little bit. Just want to maintain the look as much as possible. Um, yep. But yeah, just keep drinking water. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just sip when you're finishing. Yeah, okay, so we are getting ready to go downstairs for finals, and this will be the last time going on for the day. This will wrap up the show. The hope, the goal is to one win the classes, and two, we want to win the overall obviously, right? Of men's physique. So loading up the bag, got peanut butter, honey, rice cakes, salt, Snickers bar, endo pump, Just some of the things I'll need for the next couple of hours as we get ready to prepare and pump up to go back on stage. But we haven't had to consume too much food today. We kept it pretty light just because we filled out so well yesterday. And I'm still really tight. So, let's see what we can do. You know how that one guy ran the marathon with his baby? Yeah. I'm going on stage with my baby. <laughs> Specifically that large on your chest. I'll tell you one thing. I said it after we got off the stage the first time. The adrenaline after getting off stage was unlike anything I've ever experienced. And I feel like I'm about to get another hit of this drug. Before I say another word, just know that my intentions were pure. But you can't stand to be in silence. All you can hear is your own voice. Fueling delusion in you. Let's go. Four, three, one. Okay guys, so we got men's physique novice class B first place and novice men's physique overall champion. Now we're going for the open overall, baby. Perfect. Great experience, great show. We'll get out of here and, uh, you know, we're going home with some medals. Not necessarily the medal we wanted, but that was fun. It was a lot of fun, adrenaline was high. Honestly, I haven't felt adrenaline rushing like that for a long time. I'm shaking right now. 
But man, I, I heard four, three, I and I was like, I was like, four, like, like, oh. four, like But hey, that was great. That was great. Okay, so if you couldn't hear me backstage, uh, we ended up winning the novice class B, and then won novice overall, and then I won the open for my class. Went to the the open overall, didn't win it. I was hoping, I was hoping for a big win, but. Uh, we didn't win that one. The, the person who did win it, Jacoby, deserved it. Big dude, Jack dude. He was conditioned. Um, but overall, amazing experience. Great day with this team and family. Adrenaline was rushing and crushing. And now we're gonna get a nice juicy cheeseburger. Hopefully some sweet potato fries and definitely a margarita. But this was a great experience. This was a great journey. I'm proud of it. I'm happy. It was uh, it was more than I expected. Today was more than I expected in terms of joy and fulfillment and excitement and, and energy. And it was exactly what I I was hoping it would be. It was more than I was hoping it would be. So that was great. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks for all the help. Big shout out to Coach Brady for leading the way and taking care He's of me. He's the man. He's the real deal. That's enough said. I just, I just was like, hey, what's, what's up next? It was, you're going to eat this at this time here. You're going to pose this way. And uh, it allowed me to just focus on what I was doing today. And he took care of everything else. So it's been a great experience working with Brady. And this team and family is just absolutely amazing. So that's all I got. That's the hybrid cut. That wraps up the series. Show day's complete. And it was a good one. <sighs> okay. Are you ready for it? Post-show meal. I cannot wait to dive into this beast of a bad boy. We got six-piece nuggets from uh, Shake Shack. Chocolate shake, truffle fries, and a double Shake Shack burger. So let's try the shake. Oh, great chocolate shake. Rich. Now, the double. My mouth is watering so badly. Dude. I can't even tell you the way I feel. I, I can't even describe what's going through my body right now. That, I had a sensation that I've never experienced in my life before. Oh my God. That's great. I'm back at it. Beautiful. That's just, that's just, that's just beautiful. Beautiful. That's it. <laughs>